It's the honey nutty part of this complete breakfast. Hey, Sonic, how can I be as good as you? Race for the taste! Now, Honey Nut Cheerios offers you free Sega game tips right on the box, plus a chance to instantly win a Sega Genesis with the new Dr. Robotnik or Toe Jam and Earl Panic on Funkatron. Chances of winning 1 in 10,000. Check mark boxes. The Sega Genesis released in North America on August 14, 1989 for around $189. It displayed in progressive format resolution, 320 by 224 or 256 by 224 pixels. While that may not sound impressive by today's Ultra HD standards, back in the late 1980s it was the standard for gaming. It was packed with 64 KB of RAM, 64 KB of VRAM, and 8 KB of audio RAM. The best selling video game was the pack and title Sonic the Hedgehog, the game which helped launch Sega into superstardom before their untimely fall in the late 1990s. Let's look at some of the games that also played on the Sega Genesis. Chester Cheetah College Slam. Today's matchup: Gators versus Wildcats. The tip. Comic Zone. Cosmetic space head. Crusader of Sinti.
Gunstar Heroes. Izzy's quest for the Olympic rings. Kid Chameleon. Shining Force, the legacy of great intention. Sparkster Rocket Knight Avengers 2. Super hang on.
Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with some multiplayer levels. Streets of Rage 2 with co-op multiplayer. Toe Jam and Earl 2 with co-op multiplayer. And a weird Super Mario bootleg game that sucks worse than a gay dude in a 7-Eleven bathroom stall. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Sega Genesis biggest rival was the Super Nintendo which it went to heavy battle with an, an advertisement warfare never seen since. Genesis Dutch. 16 bit arcade graphics. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Dutch. 16 bit sports action. You can't do this on Nintendo Genesis Dutch. Genesis Dutch. Genesis Dutch. Genesis Dutch. Genesis Dutch. Get Joe Montana free, Pat Riley free, Buster Douglas free, Super Monaco GP free, or Collins free. Buy a 16-bit Genesis system between now and October 31st and get an extra game. Gotta go. Hey, guy, you're the first serious gamer I've seen all morning. Check this out. Brand new 16-bit Super Nintendo with Super Mario World. Wow! Oh, what's this one? Oh, this is a Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega Genesis. Hey, look at these radical colors, huh? Wow, Sonic's fast, too. No, over here. I like Genesis, and it costs a lot less. Wait, kid, that game I'll there. I'll take Sonic and Genesis. <laughs> I knew that. Sonic the Hedgehog. More action, more speed. Huh? Sega Genesis, it's a whole lot more for less. The Sega Genesis has blast processing. Super Nintendo doesn't. So what's blast processing do? And uh, what if you don't have blast processing? In the end, Nintendo beat Sega with the Super Nintendo selling a whopping 49.10 million consoles worldwide, while the Sega Genesis sold 30.75 million consoles despite having a two-year lead on the Super Nintendo. However, this does not take into account the Brazilian sales of the Sega Genesis, which continued making the console into the 2020s, and yes, the Brazil Sega Genesis's were fully supported by the Sega company and not illegal or unlicensed knockoffs. This truly shows that Sega may have been able to beat Nintendo at their own game. But unfortunately, 10 years later would prove to be the untimely fall of the Sega company.